Now I'm going to show you how you're going to make a map of the path that your rock took. So you're going to start off by looking at your sheet. And all that you're going to be doing is um, kind of making what's ultimately going to look like a crazy spider web of the different processes that your uh, rock went through. So I've only got three on here. I'm going to show you three. But when you make yours, you would include every single different process that you were able to get through. So down here, I know that I started with weathering. So that's where I'm going to start off. And the next process that I went through was compaction and cementation. So all that I'm going to do is connect my line right there. The next process that I went through was uplifting. So then I'm just going to connect cementation over to uplifting. Um, right now, that's all that I could do, but I'll simulate a couple others. Um, let's say that after my rock um, uplifted, it then went back underground and it subducted. Then maybe my rock um, was exposed to heat from Earth's interior. So my next process was melting. And then maybe the next thing that happened was cooling. Maybe the next thing that happened was weathering. And then it melted again. And then it went through another metamorphic process. Hopefully you kind of get the idea. And by the end, you are going to have a, um, a web that might look a little bit different from the people next to you but hopefully you will see all the different processes that a rock can go through throughout the history of its life. And we've got some really, really old rocks that exist today, and most of them has, have been through these processes once, twice, um, multiple times, because the rock cycle never ends, and because the matter that, they, uh, that makes them up, it doesn't disappear, it's not created, it's not destroyed. It's just changing forms due to the energy that they have been exposed to.